This video will demonstrate how to conduct academic searches within Schaefer Library's database collection. To get started, visit the library website and locate the orange OneSearch bar. To begin, type in a search term or phrase, or click on the Advanced Search feature to conduct a more specific search. From there, hit the Search button and view your results on the next page. Now, you will likely encounter thousands of results, so it is a good idea to narrow this down by using the filters on the left side of the screen. Filters include full text, books, peer-reviewed journals, publication date, source type, subject, language, and more as you go down the column. Your best bets will probably be full text, which is super helpful in eliminating anything that is not available in full text format, and peer-reviewed journals, which limits your results to scholarly research only. These two filters are really great time savers, but it's still very important to examine and evaluate your search results in the context of your research topic. To access an item online, there will be an icon underneath the source title, either labeled PDF Full Text, Online Access, or something similar. Clicking on the link should take you directly to the source. If an item is not online, you will see listings of where the item is located, so you can request it through Ohio Link. To do this, click on Retrieve Catalog Item and select the green Request icon on the next page. From there, you will need your student ID number to submit and complete the request. If you'd like to conduct a more specific search, use the Advanced Search feature on the library's homepage. This allows you to search for multiple terms or phrases together, as well as add additional limiters before you see your results. Many of these limiters are similar to the ones on the left side of your usual search results page. One useful feature of the advanced search tool is the use of Boolean operators, which are drop-downs between the search boxes. To explain these together, using the word AND as a Boolean operator searches for both search terms in all of the search results. This will make your search narrower or smaller. If you use the word OR, this will search for either one word or the other. This casts a wider net and makes your search a lot larger. The word not eliminates the term in the corresponding search box. Boolean operators are great for narrowing down or expanding a search if you are not finding what you need with the traditional single search box. These can be used in any order and with other Boolean terms, meaning you can use more than one at the same time. On top of Boolean terms, you may also categorize each search term with the drop-downs on the right side, which can assist in finding specific items. These are optional and will default to searching all text if you do not select one of the words. After filling in your search terms, the same filters will be available to use in order to narrow down your search further. An additional feature of OneSearch is that it also includes pre-made citations, which can be found on the right side of a source page. However, it's very important to check them for accuracy before pasting them into a paper or assignment. OneSearch is also not the only database you can use. The library has several databases available on the A to Z list on the library website. You can check out the databases by discipline, source type, and vendor to find the one that's best for you. It's recommended that you try a database relevant to your subject area because it will retrieve the most relevant results. Any database under the vendor EBSCO has the same format as OneSearch, so the search features and filters are exactly the same, so we encourage you to try them out to see what you can find. If you would like further research assistance, you can contact your subject librarian or request a research appointment on our homepage. We hope this tutorial helps you in your next search.